Hello and welcome. So here I have added the major wrinkles and now I'm going to add the fine details like small wrinkles to get the more realistic look. So for, for that actually I am going to select the standard brush and will make some changes. I am going to select alpha 58 and will combine it with spray. Uh, let's say I will select the color spray. Now as you can see we can add the details but I think I will do one more time subdivide, subdivide the chimpanzee and increase the resolution so that whatever detail I am putting fine wrinkles they are should be visible. So as you can see I am carefully adding the adding these fine wrinkles make sure you do not overdo it only put the wrinkles where they look natural As you can see even I am doing some some test so uh, whether it is working or not and then I just rolling back my actions And these are the fine details that should come. I'm just I will just continue adding these wrinkles
So this area is not going to be visible a lot because there will be hairs will come but still I'm adding some details so that actually we can just take the reference the front section front section don't have much hair so this area that's why I'm focusing more on that uh, I will also go and change the alpha so click on the light box and click on the alpha so you can find various alpha here and I'm going to pick some alpha I think this should be uh, I had downloaded one more alpha so I will just use that one so for that I will This is too strong. There is another one. Yeah, so I selected SW wrinkle 03 and I will include this alpha also. And now you can see I'm just I'm just doing some smoothing so that I can add additional alpha, additional wrinkles. So, because wrinkles are not in one layer, they are multiple layers. Now, here you can see. I will change this method to this one or let's select the drag rack so basically I can decide where I want to add this detail so by default this alpha comes out like this so if you want to reverse it press alt and then you actually you can add the details now you can see I am just adding some more more texture more roughness that is making it more realistic
I'm adding some smoothness around the nose area so because this area is a bit smooth and so that creates a very unique pattern and then we'll again focus on that now some some details i'm going to make manually just like some wrinkles I am going to just make myself Now this is very subjective so you may feel the need to add more wrinkles or you may feel that what details you added is enough so take a look and if you feel to add more details then you can simply follow the same step Now I am just trying to enhance the details that I had added on the face. I will switch to the damn standard so that the wrinkles may look more better. For some reason this brush has been my favorites because when it comes to adding the wrinkles, adding the fine details, this works very well. Uh, as you can see we are almost done the eye details are also completed
and here our i is done. We'll add some more wrinkles here also. So we'll continue with this one. This time I will. Let's see if does it. It looks good here. Now this looks too much. So I will change this with this alpha. We will reduce the intensity so that we can just. So as you can see I did not have to download any new brush to add the skin details and wrinkles because you just use one alpha and these stroke techniques change the stroke and you, you will get incredible results. So I am just filling out the overall body with the random random strokes so to create a skin texture however this is not going to be visible a lot but still yeah okay here I will add some will increase this wrinkles intensity let's reduce the subdivision layer so that I can actually make it inflate so we'll select inflate brush and we'll start inflating the major wrinkles now this should be good yep Let's go few more. I'm going to add some more details like we'll extend the wrinkles. And I think we are pretty much done with this. I'm going to move it a bit here.
so that's how you can actually change the intensity of wrinkle I have completed adding wrinkles into the head and that's why I am moving to going to add the textures on this so we will add textures by poly painting in ZBrush so and I will cover the topics of poly painting texture painting image texture projection all these topics will be covered so I'll see you in the next video okay Let's take a one render and so that we can see how does it look like. Not bad. Let's save the file. Saving file is very necessary.